I've got an idea. Hmm. Let's get out in the great outdoors. And just as I say that, I look over and there's a deer looking at me. It's probably thinking, I'm already out in the great outdoors. <laughs> I love nature. Friends, this is so cool. I came out here to Blandford to build a dray, a model of a dray, and I look up in this tree and there's a real dray, a big one. I think that one's fairly new, look at that. Sticks and leaves that are put together in a special way and I bet there's insulation in the middle. I'm going to try to build a dray. I don't think it'll be quite as good as that. That's a real dray. Well, friends, I've studied my design. I've got my plan right here. Now I'm ready to build my dray. Now I know it's not going to be like a real squirrel dray, but I'm going to build it up here on this log because I know that squirrels like to be up off the ground. I'm not going to climb up a tall tree and build it, but I've got my materials. I've collected many, many sticks and I found sticks from a cottonwood tree that are kind of soft and they're curved. They're strong, but flexible. I'll use these sticks to build my frame. I also collected some nice dry grass that I found right by the Silent Journey Trail here at Blanford Nature Center. So I've got my materials and I've got many, many leaves behind me. I'm going to start building my dray. I'm going to build it on top of this log. Follow along and I'll show you how I do it. So how do they do it? How do they get the sticks to balance? This is going to be so hard. I'm gonna to try to use this spot and I'm going to try to get sticks to balance so that I can start to build some kind of platform that the dray will be on. And then I'm going to try to get some sticks to kind of stick up in the air a little bit so that we've got the opening for the dray. I'm just getting started building a frame for my dray. I don't know how it's going to look, friends. This is really hard. I'm going to keep working on it. I'm going to try to make a dome shape so that something can fit inside. Yeah, now we've got a dome. There's a little bit of a dome there. Awesome. This is the very beginning of the frame for my dray. I've got a pretty good platform. I don't know how squirrels do it. How could a squirrel build a dray? I do have a little opening right there in the middle. That looks good so far. I'm going to keep going. A squirrel would weave these sticks together. I'm trying to weave the sticks together so they stay in place and I still want to have space so that my squirrel can fit into my dray. I wonder if the wind blows. If it'll... I broke off the ends of a lot of twigs so I could put some lighter sticks up here. Lighter weight sticks that will hold on to the leaves. What do you think? I think the frame's pretty good. An animal can fit inside and still have covering. So let me see if I can put my squirrel inside. I don't know if it'll fit. So here's the frame for my dray. And I know that my little animal, I brought this animal from Elab. It's actually a stuffed ground mole. I'm putting it inside the dray. Oh yeah, it fits nice. So before I cover it with leaves, I think I'll put the insulation inside. The insulation will help keep the animal warm, even on a cold winter night. It'll hold the body heat and it's soft. I'll put the insulation inside as I hold the frame down. Oh yeah, that's nice. So I have the frame and I have the insulation. What comes next? Am I finished? No! If it rains, the animal could still get wet and wind could blow this all away. Let's cover it with leaves. That's our covering. Watch. I'm going to put the leaves in underneath some of the sticks so they don't all blow away. So I'm going to put a lot of leaves on it so the animal is hidden. I've got a lot of big leaves that will cover this up. I'm making a dray. And every now and then, after I put some leaves on, 
I'll put more sticks over the top to kind of hold the leaves in place. Yeah. Hey, look, I'm almost done with my dray, for now at least. I'm trying to wedge some of the leaves in so that the leaves won't blow away if it gets very windy. I want to try to cover it up from all sides so if a predator looks in, it will not see the squirrel inside or the mole inside. Oh, this is really cool. Every now and then, I'm going to put some twigs on top to keep those leaves from blowing away. I'm almost done with my dray. These leaves are waterproof and windproof. Put a few small sticks on top to kind of hold them in place. What do you think of my dray? Now, I'll put the animal inside. Look friends, the mole is inside the entrance to the dray in the nice soft insulation. I think my shelter's pretty much done. I'm gonna put a, one more stick right here to make sure that stays in place. Good, you stay, stay. That's my dray. Yours does not have to look like mine. Is it waterproof, windproof? Does it hide the animal from predators? Let's find out. And here's the predator test. The snowy owl is flying around looking for food and it flies over the dray and it cannot see an animal inside. The dray is protecting the animal from the snowy owl. Oops, you better tuck in there. <laughs> now the snowy owl can't see it. Look at this snowy owl. Now the snowy owl is hungry. Now I feel sorry for the snowy owl. <laughs> but that's a good dray. The dray is protecting the dray is protect, protecting the animal from predators like the snowy owl. Oh no, now there's a windstorm. I wonder if the shelter will survive. <gasps> I'm getting tired. I guess it's a pretty strong shelter. Yeah, here's my animal inside. It looks warm and happy. Do you see it smiling? I don't either. <laughs> Here's the dray that I built. First I built a frame. I put some dry grass in for insulation and then I covered it with leaves. This is a model of a squirrel dray. Boy, that'd be cool if a squirrel came down here and actually used it. Now it's your turn. Gather the materials, and whether it's indoors or outdoors, build some kind of dray and take a picture of it. See if you can show me the frame, the covering, and the insulation inside. Good luck, friends, and have fun with this. We're learning about shelters.